Hey guys, so I didn't really know what to film today, so I kind of just did my face first. Um, this is fake by the way, I've had these for a while but I just never really knew when to wear them. But, uh, but sometimes I think it adds to a look, sometimes to have a little bit of jewelry, so I don't know, I think it's fun. So I did my face with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which I absolutely love. And set it with my Stimmel, Stimmel, my Rimmel Stay Matte. So that's my base. And then I used my Anastasia Contour Stick, Tarte Shape Tape, Concealer, and um, my Butter Bronzer. And I also added some freckles, but it's kind of, they're kind of hard to see. They're really light. Oh, see, now you can't see my freckles. Okay. So today I wanted to test out, okay, also my brows are pretty freaking nice. Anyways, I wanted to test out the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, and this is the mini one. They have a mini one and then a regular size one, but honestly, if this is mini, I feel like you don't need any, you don't need the bigger one. Um, but really, ugh. So I've heard these shadows, the colorful shadows, are amazing as well as the um, more neutral shades, so I'm gonna have a really hard time. Ugh, I just want to dive into the colorful shades. I just don't know what look I want to create. So maybe I'll think of something as I go. But I'm just gonna swatch some of them for you. So this is gonna be the first two, which is Chi and Molly. And I put them so far apart, which is so smart. So those are the first two shades, Chi and Molly. These two right here. Um, let me see the other two. So that's those two, the next two, and then I'll swatch the purple one real quick. Um, that was horrid. I don't know how people do this. It's actually really hard to do it, like, in front of the camera. I don't know. Okay, so anyways, that was horrid. I'm sorry. <laughs> really, this is just one little swipe, and then I put it on my arm. So you can tell they're pretty pigmented, which is why I was attracted to this palette because I actually play with colors quite often so I just don't know I really want to play with this purpley color and then this color but I just have no idea what I would do so I think we're just gonna start off with just like a my eyes set my I'm just gonna take my stay matte Rimmel powder, which is what I set my face with, and just kind of reset my eyelids because I don't think I set them very well. I'm going to use, ugh, I didn't clean my brushes. So I think I'm going to go in with Burkina, which is this one right here. If I can focus. So Burkina right here. I wish, the only thing I have to say is I wish it had a mirror. Um... So I guess I'm just going to pick it up and use my TARDIS Pro palette, which is one of my favorite things about the palette, is the giant ass mirror. So I guess that's what I'm going to use. Let me know what you guys think about me doing my face first before I come on camera. Like if that's something that you like or not. Um, the only reason why I really decided it didn't matter today is because I'm pretty sure my base is the exact same is what I did in my last video. Um, so, figured if it was something that you really wanted to see me do, I could tell you guys to just go over to my last video and watch that. Um, so this is a beautiful shade. Okay, so that's really beautiful. It blended so, so nicely, as you can see. Like, I'm pretty obsessed with that. Like, if I were ever to do like a no makeup makeup look, I could totally see that being one of my go-to shades for just like a quick little pop of like contour in the crease to give me something something. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with just a teeny bit of Fulani. Now, I 
Now, I apologize if I'm not saying these names right. If I'm not, feel free to correct me down below. It would be good for me to know, but just know that I'm not being an idiot on purpose. So, I'm just putting that more in the actual crease and not blending it upward as far, just to kind of like deepen it a little bit. So, I think I'm going to go in with Zobo, which is this purpley shade right here. And I think I'm going to kind of put that just a little bit below where I just put that darker shade. And by the way, I'm using the same brush still because this is like my best brush. And I think this is the Morphe... No, it's not. Oh, oh sugar. Or whatever. I couldn't pronounce it last time either, but um, I'll link it down or I'll put it down below. Um, this is my favorite, favorite brush. It just blends everything so seamlessly. So as you can see, these are like really pigmented, but they're also so blendable. I've been trying to do different stuff, but I'm kind of... I don't know what like people want to see on my channel. So if you guys want to give me any suggestions, that would be very much appreciated. Um, so just let me know what you guys want to see, if there's anything you do want to see. I'm going to do a little bit of the Makeda. Right here, the purpley one. I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm taking what's left on the brush and I'm connecting the smoked out edge to my lower lash line. It doesn't have a ton of product on it, it's just going to really lightly deposit some of that color to kind of connect the upper and lower so it's kind of like a seamless eye look. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on this eye and then we're going to come back and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so <laughs> don't be alarmed. I look like a scary monster right now, but it'll all come together, I promise. Alright, so I'm gonna take Molly, which is the beautiful, like, mermaidy green color, and I'm just gonna take it on my finger and see how that applies, and then if I have to use like a wet brush. I will, but right now we're just gonna use this. And then I will take a brush just so I have like maximum like pigmentation. Okay, so what brush do I wanna use? For stuff like this, you wanna use like a denser brush. It's just easier. Okay, so I'm going to use this dense brush right here. And really, you could wet your brush with water and it would work. But since I have this right in front of me, I'm going to use my Mara Badescu spray. It works best if you pick up the pigment on your brush and then spray, in my opinion. Okay, so that is the center of my lid. Now, I kind of want to like recreate the top on the bottom, so that's why I have purple on the inner and outer corner. So now I'm just going to pick up some more pigment on the very tip of this brush and go in the center. Okay, so I'm taking this pencil brush. Hi! I'm taking this pencil brush and I'm going to go into Giza, which I heard is super pigmented. And I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. I kind of already had an idea before I did this, so it's not super pigmented, but I mean it's pigmented, but I really like really bright inner corners. So I kind of already, ooh, it is really pretty. I'm going to put it under my brow bone. 
So I actually want more though of like an inner corner pop. So I'm going to use my Stila Magnificent Metal Eye Glitter. This is in the shade Kitten Karma. It's gold with a little bit of pink. So I think it'll look cool. Okay. So I think I want to use new lashes today. And these are the Violet Voss Limited Edition Foam Mink Lashes. Um, and that's all it says. Oh, they're... They're just slaying, is what they're called. Um, the only thing, I've never used Violet Voss lashes. I honestly have a hard time using anything but my um, Coco lashes, which are my absolute favorite. And what makes me nervous about these is how thick the band looks. I don't know. Like, these thick bands are, in my opinion, just so much harder to work with. And there's like a huge glob of glue on these. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. Oh my god, I just put, okay. I just put the glue on and didn't crumb my lashes or anything. I like to do this first because I feel like it. So while it's drying, I'll put a little bit of mascara. Some people do this before, some people do it after. I don't think there's any specific way, but when you do it often, you kind of find your favorite way to do it. I'm not going to do my bottom lashes yet, because I don't know exactly what I want to do with them. I might do something fun, so who knows. This band is so thick! My eyes watering an absurd amount. Okay, anyone who has a septum piercing, does this make your nose run? Because I'm pretty sure it's making my nose run. Okay, I think that's on. I honestly couldn't tell you for sure. So, since that took me a while, I think I'm gonna hop off camera and do the other one, and then I'll be back, and hopefully this one stays on because my eye just watered like crazy, and I don't wanna do that again. So, I'm going to do my other one, and I'll be right back. Hello! Okay, so I finished with the lashes and I added a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes, but not a ton because I didn't want to cover up the kind of like halo effect I made down there. So my final thoughts on these lashes are I would get them again. Violet Voss lashes, these at least weren't expensive. Um, and that's something that I really am looking for. Fuck, I think the end just popped out. So what I'm looking for is definitely like something that's afford affordable because I'm not a fan of spending a lot of money on lashes. I think it's just, it feels pointless. Like I know it's not pointless, but it feels pointless to me. So these weren't that expensive. So I do like that about them and they're way different than any of the ones I've used so far on my channel. So I hope you guys like that. I know I like that. I'm a little bit hard to use, but I can kind of see how they're meant to be easier like unless you were using them I don't know if you would know what I'm talking about but I don't know just the way the band is I think they're meant to go on easier than other ones I think I just need to practice so I'm not going to judge that too harshly but I do have to say it was a little bit more difficult this time around and I will just have to keep on keep on keep on practicing and I think these get up to like 25 wears or something, so I will have lots of practice. Let's see. It doesn't say, but my cocoa lashes say you can get up to 25 wears, so I bet they're kind of similar. I'm going to, I got a couple different wet and wild gel lip liners, which if you've been watching my channel, that's like all I use for a lip liner is my gel liner and bear to comment. So I picked up a few other ones because at Kinney Drugs, they 
we're having like a 25% off the entire Wet n Wild collection. So I got a bunch of stuff for even cheaper than it already is. And these are already like dirt cheap. So this is in the shade, I think, Pink Flamingo. Think Flamingo. Um, and I'm going to line my lips with it. So I wanted them to be kind of pink. Oh, I actually really like them like that with the eye look. Do I want to go in with this? I was going to go over it with the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in Skinny Dip. But this has a very, um, like, orangey undertone. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see. I think it would just, yeah, see, it's very, very tan and, like, orangey. And I think it would like change like this is very cool tone and this is warm tone so I think it would kind of fuck it up so I'm gonna whip out something that I never ever use I never use my Anastasia lips lip glosses and especially this one this one's in the shade dainty and it's just very very pink and opaque so I find it hard to use because it's not to me it doesn't feel like a lip gloss it just feels like a very thick pigmented shiny lipstick. I don't know, it's hard to describe. You'll see. Like, it's just so pigmented that I didn't know how to wear it because it was so light. I didn't know what to wear it with. See how pigmented it is? Like, holy shit, this is a lip gloss. Okay. So I think this was a good idea. I think it goes better than the um, warm tone would have. So this is the completed look. So I give this palette, like, I have to say, like a 10 out of 10 so far. Um, I have to use all the shades, obviously, but it seems like the pigmentation is really, really nice. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's crazy pigmented. Oops, I just kept sticking my finger. So I can't wait to use all these warm tones. Like, I feel like, let me just swatch Casablanca. Like, how beautiful is that? I think you could make like so many different looks just because there's matte transition shades, shimmer shades that are um, pretty neutral in color and then you could go like anywhere with these pops of colors. So I just kind of wanted to do something different because I really wanted to test out the colors themselves and not do something with the warm tones because you know sometimes when people pick up palettes like this it's not for the warm, warm tones obviously like what do you look at first when you open this up? It's obviously this first row of shades. So I think sometimes when it comes to palettes like these, I think it's best to um, try out those ones first. But I will definitely do another video or at least another eye look from my Instagram with these matte shades just so that way I can show you guys a look with them. Um, if you want to see more looks like this, I do have colorful stuff on my Instagram page, so I'll have that linked down below. Don't forget to follow me. If you liked this, then please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up, and yeah, don't be afraid to give me any suggestions on anything you might want to see, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!